on ABC. Central Florida has won the toss and they will receive. Going for it right away. They want the football. See the temperature. The rain woke me up this morning in Ann Arbor about 4 a.m. Did it get you, Grease? You said 4 a.m. or 9 a.m. Did it wake you? I thought the rain. <laughs> the rain woke me up at 4 a.m. You didn't hear that? You're a deep sleeper. No, I was already up. Yeah, oh, my breakfast, my right. oatmeal, ready to roll. It, travel should never put us on a golf course. You probably snuck in nine <laughs> this morning. Kenny Allen will kick it away, and out of the end zone. Tristan Payton will let it go. And we'll see UCF and their offense first. To say Justin Holman was amped up last week would be an understatement. Head coach Scott Frost told us it looked like he had 11 Red Bulls prior <laughs> to the game. Well, and if he did that preparing for South Carolina State, how's he going to do in the big house yeah. against Michigan in a defense that they're going to bring a lot of pressure on Justin Holman in this game? He can't afford to have a slow start like he did a week ago. Has Jawan Hamilton in the backfield. Two wide receivers bottling me the scheme. That's Traquan Smith in motion. And off the inside handoff to Hamilton. He'll take it for a first down, and that's the start the Knights wanted. Absolutely. We were talking with Scott Frost last night. He said he's got a lot of young talent on this offense. Hamilton, a true freshman. Adrian Killens will see number nine at halfback. And we're going to see this up tempo offense that Scott Frost has become so used to. Here they go off the play action. Holman to throw. And he was belted as he released. Mike McCray got a good knock on him. Great play by McCray and Glasgow, number 96. Both of them coming off the right side of the quarterback. You're going to see this offensive line for UCF is the weakest part of their team. So the question is, when Holman decides to throw from the pocket, will he have enough time to deliver the ball? Taylor Oldham out in the flat there, and they get it out to him. Here's Oldham, very close to the first down marker on second and ten. They call it a gain of nine. Demonte Thomas on the tackle. UCF gets one first down. They need to get another one. We know this offense requires first downs to get their tempo going. Third and one. Fumble the snap there. Now Holman's in big trouble trying to get out of it, and he won't. He's dropped at the 41-yard line. Mike McRae was there again. McRae, the Big Ten Defensive Player of the Week, off to a good start this week as well. Now we talked about being too amped up, whether it's 11 Red Bulls or playing at Michigan Stadium. you got to make sure you get the snap first. He just takes his eyes off the ball, goes right through his hands, and he's dead to rights. And that was a solid snap by Jason yep. Ray, the center. That's on the QB. Michigan will get their hands on the football and Mr. Do it all. Do everything. Jabril Peppers is back standing at his own 19 yard line. That tipped. A lot of pressure and some contact with that football. And it even takes a Michigan bounce. The Wolverines are going to take over at their own 47 yard line to start. It looked like it was Tyree Cannell may have gotten a finger on that football. <laughs> Comes right up the middle. Yeah, gets his right hand on the ball. Coach is really excited about Cannell. Safety on defense. He'll be their third safety in on a regular package, and uh, he's got a bright future ahead of him. Making plays on special teams, a great way to get noticed by one Jim Harbaugh. 